Anyone who has set out on a journey can tell you it's hard to get somewhere without a map. The Supreme Court has directed the state to provide a year-by-year -year plan for funding all aspects of basic education. We need to go from our current unconstitutional system to completely eliminating the state's dependency on local school levies for basic education. You may be thinking, easy, right? Just give them more money? But what is the dollar amount the state needs to come up with to meet its fiscal obligation? And more importantly, what can we do to make sure McCleary make never happens again? I'm Representative Chad Magendance, getting into the nitty gritty of funding education in this Magendance Minute. The first bill the governor signed this session was one I co-authored that establishes the legislature's commitment to fulfill our constitutional duty before the 2018 deadline. But determining the total amount of the state's obligation will take some digging. In the next few months, a group of independent consultants will be collecting information from local school districts on their collective bargaining agreements, funding sources, and expenditures for teacher compensation, basic ed, and enrichments. Would you consider a music teacher an enhancement? debate club, foreign languages, after school tutoring services? How about a football coach who also teaches math? What part of their pay is basic education? By collecting and analyzing this detailed data, including money being used from local levies, we can determine the total amount the state needs to pay. Also included in this research will be a recommendation on how to fund competitive salaries and benefits to hire and retain quality staff. For example, the median household income in King County is currently about $79,000, but in Okanagan County, it's only $35,000. And yet we have a single salary schedule for teachers across the entire state. Setting up an equitable system includes recognizing that labor costs differ regionally and should factor in compensation adjustments for teachers living in urban, high crime, rural, or otherwise hard to staff areas. Ensuring McCleary never happens again means we need to put clear accounting mechanisms in place to help school districts easily identify to the state what part of their expenses are basic education and what part is an enhancement. I sponsored a bill this year that would do just that. This proposal may not move this session, but I believe it will be a key element to meeting the mandate of fully funding education in the years ahead. I'm Chad Magnance. Thanks for watching. See you next time in a Magnance Minute.